Hey, crafty friends. Welcome back to the Old Paper Lady. I'm Lori. Thank you all for uh, clicking and watching and joining us today. Right now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to finish working on my... Uh, I'm calling it the Moonbeam Journal. Because <laughs> she helped me do... She did the, the inking part, but uh, it's going to be a... Uh, coffee dyed paper journal just decorated with the leftover uh, embellishment bits from a Angela Kerr freebie that she had on her Facebook so I did a uh, it's basically like a just a, a brown faux leather look cover and I put it on a uh, Uh, what is this? Uh, it's like basically like cardboard, like a like a cereal box type cardboard, and I put uh, the white wrapping paper on the front and just kind of squished it up. Put it on there with a mod mod podge, and I squished it up in places. And lodge paused it down to make it look like a faux leather. And then I took my uh, vintage photo and just inked all over it. And then my papers for the journal is just going to be coffee dye papers. I got two. Whoops! In I dropped my drop my thing in the corner. Stab myself in the foot with it. That wouldn't have been good. <laughs> We're just going to sew our signature in and try to get our front decorated today. Ugh. I always use this green pad to poke my uh, signatures through. I start eyeball somewhere in the middle, about an inch or an inch and a half from the top and the bottom. And I just chose just a like a, a brown that matches the papers, the paper stuff, because I'm gonna put a lace or a, a ribbon trim over the uh, outside cover. Because when I folded this, it wants to crack. So we're going to do uh, get our signature sewed in. And then uh, we'll start decorating. Let's see. Did you see that? I stabbed that paper. I did not mean to do that. I ran, it, I ran it in at an angle and stabbed the page on the inside. Alright, so this is a three hole pamphlet stitch. I went through the middle from the inside out down to the bottom, all the way back up to the top and back through the middle. So probably the simplest uh, stitch that you could do. And as long as the strings are on either side, you can pull it. I'm trying to even them up because I want to leave the strings dangling. Because I'm probably going to put uh, a few little uh, purple dangle bits on it. There we go. So the string is on either side of that straight piece. You can see that. So it's on either side of the straight piece. So then you'll just pull it tight. And the reason you want to do that is because when you tie your knot, your knot won't slip through that hole in the middle. And I usually do two or three knots just to make sure 
that it's good and tied. I'm going to tie me a bow in it for the time being. Until I get me a... They got some really pretty purple purple floral beads at Hobby Lobby I want to get. So until I get those, I'm just going to leave me a bow tied in that. And I put these clips on to make sure that my paper's evened up and just to help hold it in place so I don't have to hold the paper and try to poke a hole in it at the same time. sewing kit over here so we're gonna push that back whoops look at her I left my left my all out so I gotta pick that up and I'll be hunting for it in the next journal <laughs> okay so now we got that bit done so do I want that on the front or do I want this the front I think I like this as the front. So I'm going to take my ribbon here. This is that piece, piece ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby over the weekend that they had on sale. And I'm going to try my best to run this underneath here. And I'm just going to even it up. I'm going to pull this down as far as I can on that. I don't want it centered center because I kind of want this to be like that. I was actually thinking about gluing that down and putting this underneath it. And still having it as a flat pocket but this be glued down. And then you can have a little secret spot there. I think that's what I'm going to do. I <clears throat> have not quite decided that yet or not. But I know for sure that's where I want my lace to be right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, Fabri-Tac on it. To hold it in place here. Oh, whoops, I forgot I cut that off because I was filling my bottle up with it and I couldn't get the lid off of it. <laughs> Don't want to do that. That'll be a big old mess, won't it? So I'm going to lay my lace back and I'll take and run a string. A string. I'll run a bead of Fabri-Tac on either side of it and I'm going to go ahead and eyeball the lace bit here and just fill that in best we can here. I'm going to take this while I got my book held down to kind of hold it in place and then I'm just gonna try to make sure that that is straight. I'm gonna take my spatula bit and smoosh it on there. I'm going to go ahead and just close this up. Yeah, we'll just close that up and be done with it.
pushing it really good around where that lace is at to help it grab. And I'll flip over on the back side and glue the lace to it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and run my uh, edging lace. I don't know if I want to put that like that. I think I want to do that. I don't know. Either way would be pretty. Okay, so I need to flip this over and glue this bit down. Excuse me. Our weather has cooled off quite a bit here, so now I'm trying to get the uh, end of the season allergies. It's just, you know, here lately as I get older, it seems like every season has a, a new different allergy for me. It's quite, quite annoying. <laughs> you know, I can't just have just the pollen allergies. I got, you know, when it rains, I have allergies to that or like the wet moldy type allergy and then i don't know it's just a mess i'm just about give up on uh trying not to have you know a non a non allergy season of any sorts anymore okay so that is on there really good we hope anyways. And I'm just going around the edge here trying to get any that's up underneath there. So then I can flip it back over and work on it some more. And you'll see right here in the corner this needs to be Glued a little bit better because that'll wind up pulling the lace bit off there, and I don't want that. I don't need my lace bit pulled apart. sure that my lace is caught right at the edge of my journal so that's good on both sides to make sure your lace is caught right up to the edge of your book okie dokie so that should be good all right now let's get our uh let's get our beaded fabric on the edge of it here try to eyeball where we need to put that at
Oops, I pulled it too much. I'm just trying to make sure that that is straight as it can possibly be straight, you know. Make sure that that's good and adhered to that uh, lace lace closure. And we'll flip it over to the back. And we'll uh, glue this bit up. Well, I kind of needed to know where it went to, didn't I? Okay, so I did slide it a little bit much on the front side. That's okay. And we'll fix it. Whoopsie. We'll fix it. You don't want to pull it that crooked. There you go. So when I'm doing this right here real heavy over that uh, the lace trim, just because I know that uh, that's a little, it's got some bulk in it and it may not catch it good. So I know that the front has already caught and is uh, adhered really well. So I'm gonna turn it and pull it towards me to get my uh, to get my ribbon pulled taut so that it's no uh, wrinkles and such in it. So then I'll go back through and see where the beads are not connected or not glued down. I'll just run my fabric tack underneath where the beads are and we'll push those down and get those adhered so they don't disconnect from it. Cause it will, it'll pull straight apart from that actually. Okay, so then we'll flip back to the front side and make sure that I want beads needs to be tacked down those are the ones on the very end there i'm probably going to wind up cutting off anyways just because it's hanging over the the, the edge of the book seeing where there's any movement <clears throat> from the beads not being attached and i'll just come in with the fabric tack underneath those beads and get them really good and attached to the journal it's just making a fabric tack mess there, ain't it? Okay. Ooh. That was coming out. I didn't know it was gushing out that much. Good gracious. Take my spatula bit and get that out of there. I ain't gonna do nothing to leave a mess. Okay. So now we got our cover decorated and done how we would like it or how I would like it. So this, I was just gonna do this with it wasn't even trying to do a bow i just wanted to do like a little knot have a have like a knot closure in it and it just hang down like so that's what i was envisioning for that because i always set my journals up you know and you have the, the lacy bits hanging down from the side and it is 
It's not going to be a fat, fat journal, but I still wanted it to have a closure on it so you could add as much as you would like to it. That's all we need to glue and work on our journal piece. I'm going to let that, uh, let that take hold for a minute. And then I'll, uh, take the scissors. Ooh, about glue that shut, didn't I? I'll take the scissors and trim those, trim those bits off right there. I don't know, should I leave them? Let's open it up and see. Yeah, I'm going to trim that off. Yep, we need to trim that. So let's get her, let's get her Mr. Tim Holt scissors and we'll trim that up. The best that we can get it trimmed without tearing it up. Some alcohol wipes right here. I got a bunch of these. That's, uh, Mom and Dad both have uh, where they keep their uh, sugar checked, so they always need an uh, alcohol swab pads. So every time I see them anywhere, like they had them at uh, Ollie's, so I bought like two or three boxes of them. And I keep a box in my in my bathroom. They're good to wash your face. You know, get get the oil and stuff off your face. They're good to you know wipe your scissors down and stuff like that. Be very careful with them wiping your scissors because you will cut yourself. Okay. I think we're done with that. Alrighty, I think we're ready to start uh, putting our bits in here and pockets and tags and uh, decorate her up now. Should be ready to go. Let me wipe this here off just so we don't have nothing wet. piece right there. Fringe is getting on my nerves. <laughs> I don't like that. I think that's cute. Because I really just wanted, you know, the, the, the floral bits to be the only thing in here. You know what I'm saying? 
So I'm gonna go through, you know, when you first sew a journal in, you gotta work the pages a bit and get them broke in. But yeah, this is the, the coffee dye papers. I've been wanting to make a journal out of and just putting pretty ac uh, floral accents. I'll probably make a couple more of these, but uh, with a different cover. You know, I may do some. And I wanted that for my middle page. That's just pretty. So I may do some. Uh, With just different florals and uh, Christmas or something like that, but I think it's pretty. And do different fronts with them. I always go through and break in my break in my pages so you can turn them back and forth and get your stuff glued on them. Alright, so now let's double check make sure that is the front right side up before I start getting glue happy here. Alright, so I got all my bits. This is going to be the front bits. And here's the back bits. So I want to do the uh, belly bands on the very front and back page. And I actually thought about doing them on the cover, to be honest with you. And I still want to do that. So I'm going to do them on the cover. Have the belly bands on the front and back cover. Because I'm not putting pockets on them. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's see. I'm going to glue these up quite a bit. About an inch. If not, I'm afraid that's going to slide in and out. So I'm going to glue it to, oh my god, I got a favor tack out of work. So I'm going to glue it down to where the words will start here. And then I'm going to do this down here to where the words are. And then that way if you put something a little bit bigger in it, you can. I don't really need to use favor tack for this, I just grabbed it. my white glue because this is 40 pound printer paper and it's not going to buckle with the white glue if it was a little bit thinner uh, 28 pound or less it will probably buckle maybe even 32 pound but this 40 pound paper seems to hold that uh, Aileen's tacky glue and the, the Elmer's all-purpose glue and doesn't seem to, to buckle on the back side as bad but now if I was putting lace on, I would probably use Fabri-Tac just for the fact that, you know, it's lace. Let me put this up. Just for the fact that I don't feel like having to pull, go through a thousand wipes to keep the Fabri-Tac wiped off of me. That's the only reason. I love Fabri-Tac, but I hate it too, because I hate having to sit and peel that mess off my hands all night. And for some reason today, I can't use the Fabri-Tac. <laughs> so, yeah, let me just put that piece in there. And see, and then it's there and there. You still got room, but opening and closing that's not going to slide in and out as bad on its own. All right. So I think the way that we had figured this out was I was going to have to do like every other page. So let me start in the middle. Has six. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Is that going to be right? Let me look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
do I may have to wind up trimming these pockets down, y'all. Look at that. I did not measure my pockets. It is they are right at five and a half. Ooh. I'm gonna have to do a trim on them. Make that a mess. Well, it's just this one and this one. The rest of them seem to be okie dokie. Yeah, these two are a little bit taller than the rest of them. I need to get them to five. Ooh. Well, that's going to be tough. Now, some of these I decorated right up to edge to edge. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I should have measured that, shouldn't I? Knucklehead. Okay, that's an easy fix. We'll just do a snip snip on either side, make them five inches, and uh, re ink them sides and go on about it. Just a hair over five, just so we don't. There we go. That's going to be quite fine and dandy. All right, let me check the back ones here. See what they are. We got one here. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yep. They should all fit because all of them's the same height. This one's the only one that was a little bit taller. So we'll put it in here. Cut it down and we'll re ink all of these right quick, like. Well, yeah, I can too believe I've done that. <laughs> yeah, because I think these are the ones that I was like, I need three more pockets. Because I had 12 tag pieces. That's what happened. That's an easy fix. Then are my holes? No, nope, because I cut that one center. This hole might be a little off. Not too bad. No, nope, because I cut both sides. See? I was smart on that part, wasn't I? Because I was like, wait a minute. Let me make sure my pull holes are centered up still. If not, we'll have to do a little bit of work on that. But we cut on both sides of them, so they're good. Okie doke. Crisis averted. Now the height of them doesn't really matter. The width of them is what I was uh, referring to. Well, hopefully. Yeah, I didn't probably have to cut them down as much as I did, but. Yeah, they'll all fit. Let's double check. They will all fit. Good job. Okie doke. So we're going to flip. Put it here. And like I said, this was not one of my already made bits and stuff or pre-planned uh, journals. This was an impromptu. Uh, I was going to make up some just basically just going to do some uh, book page stack pockets. That's all I was planning on doing and little moonbeam went to work and started working and I said well shoot let me use them uh, pieces in there and uh, use that up. So that's what we did. For some reason, that looks extra puckered right there. Yeah, could be because uh, the book page is not completely glued together.
<sighs> Hope this ain't gonna be a video on what not to do. <laughs> you know, cause sometimes I do that. Let me just show you what you shouldn't do. But then I'll show you how you can fix it if you did do it that way. in here and that's pocket number one I didn't separate out my tag bits tag bits separated out. And I haven't got my little pull tassels on them. I don't think I'm going to put that in them. I just don't think I want to. Okay, so I'm going to put this here on this one. That's what I'm going to do. I think this little journal came out to be quite cute. It was quite quick as well. Just like I said, it was just leftover ephemera pieces from where I had that uh, Angela Kerr freebie. I got it off of her uh, Fans of Angela Kerr Facebook group. She posts freebies on there from time to time. And uh, all the little floral bits that I decorated the pockets with came from that kit. These were pieces of cardstock that I had stamped to make uh, my own labels with, actually. So and it went with the papers and stuff. So I said, well, you know, that's some of that stuff that's over here in my, to use it up, get it off my desk type stuff. And that's pretty much what I did was use it up, make the pockets, and then come up with the tag bits. Oh, that's going to be pretty, y'all. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, I can, you know, go and frill up the tops of these and that, which I probably should with some purple, purple uh, stuff. I got some over there. Oh, you know why that's popping up? Because the the paper is not... That's pretty. I love this. I just think it's cute. I like how, you know, everything else is kind of bland. And then the main uh, attraction is the, the floral bits. I think that's pretty. And then some of this, you know, how like sometimes you set coffee on uh, on metal pens and you set them to dry. It'll have that purpley hue in them, purpley pink hue from the pan reacting. So I thought that would, these uh, would go good with this. And uh, no, I did not do my own coffee dyeing, but I did do my own purchasing off of Etsy from a wonderful shop that has these coffee, uh, coffee ring dyed papers. And that shop is called Digital Fit on Etsy. <clears throat> so yes, I did uh, do my own uh, shopping on Etsy and my own printing. <laughs> so yeah, I did, I did do some coffee dyeing uh, at the very beginning. And I liked it, and, you know, it's, I just had some, uh, I bought some pans from uh, the Dollar Tree, like their little sheet pan things, little rectangle pans, and crisscross stacked them. That's what I did. It's like I, 
I had to put a couple sheets on one, sprayed it with the coffee stuff, and then I'd stack another one on top of it. And then I just done that. And I had about six pans going in here. And then uh, it turned out fairly decent. But I was like, I don't have the time for that. And if I didn't work full time, yes, I'd, I, I would coffee dye and ink and tea dye all the papers I could do. Uh, you know, and then I've even thought about uh, taking a weekend or so off and trying to see if I couldn't coffee dye and ink dye papers and uh, put them in my uh, dehydrator and dry them in that. I'm pretty sure you probably could, you know. So I have, I have, a, I am contemplating doing that. And then I also bought, uh, you know, like at Easter when all of the uh, the Easter dye kits go on sale. Honey, go buy you up some that has any and every color that you could think of. And, you know, uh, make you up some of them. Different color coffee, uh, different color uh, paper dyes. Because there's a lot of women that's on uh, YouTube that were showing... Uh, to do that. Do this one. And I'll miss that one. I'll put one on that one. And then we'll put one on this one. Right? So we'll have miss, put one. Miss, put one. Miss. Oh, I counted wrong. Okie dokie. Miss. Come here, papers. Put one. Miss. Put one. Miss. Put one. And that's my center page. Okay, that, that will work out. Missing you, putting it on you. Okie dokie. I was trying to get every other page with something on it. And I put pretty much kind of, you know, the same, same bling on pretty much all the pockets. Most of the pockets, you know. And I was using up, you know, lacy bits and stuff. And using up bling bits that I had already had cut for other projects but did not use. And we're just laying over here. So pretty much this is just a project of what was on my desk that needed to be used up. Pretty much is what happened here. And came out with this beautiful little journal. Love it. Oh, it's so pretty. Love that. And this is a stamp. I just stamped it on uh, the background of uh, a scrapbook paper and just cut it out. I want to do a bunch of that too. I want to do a bunch of uh, making my own labels with my stamps and stu stuff like that. Because I've got a bunch of um, vellum printed with wildflower uh, backgrounds and stuff that I was like, oh, that would be so pretty just to take and do your label stamps on them and cut them out and have the vellum labels like that. So this has plenty of writing room. It's minimal, minimal, minimal decorating, decorating, blah, 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 spit it out, buddy. So it is minimal decorating. Let me get this here. I can use this. Cause that bling underneath there is wanting to pop that back up. When I push it down on the bottom.
Okay. So then you have plenty of writing space and you have plenty of room for you to add your own decorative bits to it. Put one and then that is the middle. So I'm thinking what I want to do here on the middle is I'm going to get my um, my floral stickers and see if I have some bigger purple or pink stickers and put them on the middle here. I think that's what I'm wanting to do on that just to you know pretty it up some. And I just love that coffee ring, I love that. I like this here. This is cool. Something different, you know what I mean? Which I'm sure I'm probably not the first person that ever thought of just doing the coffee dye paper as the journal pages and then just adding the decorative bits to it. But it's just something different and I was like, that is going to be so pretty. I have book page pockets with the little pink and purple decorative bits on it. It's so cute. Ah, I lost my nap. My nap fell on the floor. My wet nap. These wet nets ain't worth two cents. I mean, I just went like that right there and it ripped. Come on, Walmart. Do better. Or parent's choice. <laughs> I like them because they feel the most like cloth. And they don't leave, uh, you know, like some of the baby wipes leave that fuzz all over your stuff. So when you're trying to wipe glue off your hands, all it's doing is leaving fuzz on you. That's why I like them better. Oh, yes, ma'am. I like it a lot. Okay, so we'll do floral bits there. All right, we're going to start on the back paper. And do the same thing as I did on the front. And we'll go down here to where the words start. Just so when you want to put something else in it, that may be a little a little bit thicker you can. Yeah, because I thought about I was going to put it on the back of the middle uh, pages is what I normally do with my belly bands. And then I said, well, I want to put, let's put them because I wanted something on the front page. So I said, well, let me put the belly band on the front and back of the uh, journal signature. So then I would have something on the very front page because, you know, it, it's coffee dye. So then I was like, well, I don't really have anything, no pockets on the cover. So then you'd have plain cardboard cover coffee dye. So I was like, I wanted something somewhere, you know decorative on the front and back but I didn't want to put pockets yeah see that'll hold that fairly good in there and it won't slide in and out with you know turning and flopping the page okay so then we're going to do work backwards how we did on the front make a shot glue there Now 
And so basically when I'm uh, using the book pages to glue on and I get done with the glue, with the gluing part and are the pages too sticky and I glue my book pages together, I throw them in this bottom bucket here in this tray. I'll fold it in, in half wide ways or I'll fold it in, in half long ways. Now these will make tags or belly bands. These will make pockets or journal cards. So that that's what I do with, with them. Whoopsie, I got my finger stuck to that. I had it on there too long. But so the uh, and that's what I've done here was just you know just a bunch of stuff that I had, you know, in my uh in my drawer in my organizer up here that was leftover bits or what have you and just made this journal that's all it is just plain and simple use it up journal and i think i like it i actually do like that a whole whole lot because it's decorated with pretty stuff And then uh, it also leaves room for someone else that would like it or you give it to that they could do their own decorative bits to it. And you have plenty of journaling space. You have plenty of pockets for, you know, tucking stuff in. Like they're ephemeris from, you know, eating out or going to the movies or, you know, just whatever. And you got pages for if they want to put little snapshots like my daughters have these little uh, I can't remember what they're called it's by Fuji the little uh, two by three photos that prints out you know and they have those things every which way decorated up you know like their little pin boards in the room and such and you could put them all in here you could put one here and on your tag you know, your decorative tag, you can write on here, uh, you know, what you did, and there's the picture for it. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Or you could put the picture on the back of your tag and write back here what it was for. I think that's cute. I love stuff like that. Let's skip that one. All right. Do this one. Now see, uh, quite a few people are doing like a uh, nothing but neutrals challenge. Or, you know, they're using like the beiges, the, the whites, the creams, the browns, you know, nothing but neutral type stuff. And uh, decorating tags and pockets and such. So I was like, so you could do something like that and you could have, you know, like, uh, you could do the opposite of what I did here. So like I did the color decorated bits with the tags and the pockets and did the neutral book and the neutral papers. So if you're doing, um, uh, the neutral tags and pockets and things like that, then you could do color pages and decorate them with the neutral pockets and stuff. So it's contrast and it stands out i think that would be great little idea for that type of stuff so if you did all of the neutral builds and stuff with with that challenge i forget who's doing it um i believe it i know i've seen um 
what is her name? Donna on Twisted Paper Studio. I know she's had uh, quite a few uh, nothing but neutral things. And I think uh, Amy at uh, Crafty Cat USA. I think she's had uh, quite a few videos of late as uh, the nothing but neutral challenge type things. So I was wondering if when they did their journal, was it going to be a neutral journal or were they going to put uh, colorful pages and then put their neutral pockets and tags in it? I think that would be a great little idea for that. I didn't get glue on this here, so I need to glue that. That would be an awesome little idea for that. So you could do like a real pretty pale pinks or blues, uh, greens, pale purples, and then put your neutral uh, ephemera bits on it. I think that would just be really pretty, actually, to do something like that. Oopsie, I forgot to tag and you didn't, my buddy. Did I forget another tag back here? I sure did. Okay, tag, tag. Because I wanted the green with that. Tag. Tag. Because this is a little bit brighter, so I thought that would go better with it. Okie dokie. And so, say like this is a little more muted -y colors. And this brings out the purple and the greens here with the green on the little little angel dress there so yeah wait a minute I have I skipped a page here now how am I off oh no all right so we did the back page we skipped the page we did that page we skipped the page we did that one skipped the page did this one uh oh I am off Somehow, how many pockets did I put back here? One. Okay. All right. So, that's right. Skip one. Skip one. Pocket. Pocket. Oh, that's why, because I didn't skip one there, you knucklehead. Yeah, I didn't skip pockets through none of these right here. Did you see that? Boy, if that wasn't the randomness putting them down. <laughs> oh, bless it. Well, that's fine. We'll put one here. We'll put one here. It'll be all right. If I could drive this glue straight, I'll tell you one thing. That would be amazing. Oops. Try the glue straight and quit trying to pull the pocket back up once you get it glued down, knucklehead. Yep, 
I don't know, I think my pocket's crooked. No, it's okay. It is a wee bit crooked, but it's not that bad. Oh, yeah, it is that bad. <laughs> That's really bad, noticeable. Look at the difference here. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, it's stuck down now. Wouldn't you know it? Of course it is. Okay. And this is the last pocket. I'm going to go grab me, um, I'm going to grab my, um, my clear stickers and, uh, see if we can't come up with some, uh, pretty floral stickers to put on the middle of it and then it'll be done. And we will have it finished. Like I said, most of these lacy pieces and trim that's on these pockets were out of my scrap, uh, scrap lace trim, a uh, little glass bucket that sits here on my desk that holds used to be a candle now it holds my tim holt scissors and my uh scrap lacy bits lace and ribbon scraps Cause I've got purple and pink ribbon that would have been pretty on that, but it would have added extra bulk, unnecessary bulk to it. So I didn't really want it to be over decorative. I just wanted it to be pretty. All right, let me go get my uh, stickers. Let's see how long I've got. Ooh. They are. We'll go get them stickers. I'll be right back. I had to sneak me a drink while I walked by it. <laughs> Okay, so Nilda, sweetie, thank you so much for these. Love, love, love them. Thank you. Scrapbooking with Nilda. She's uh, the sweet lady that uh, purchased my tea party journal. So I sent it to her, and then she sent me as these beautiful butterflies as a thank you. Thank you so much. And these were uh, Forever in Time Paper Craft Collections Butterfly Die Cuts. 33 pieces and uh, they came in from an Amazon box and I'm, I don't know if, for sure if that's where she got them from off of Amazon, but I thought this would be really pretty too on one of these faux leather books to put the butterflies on it and just do like orange and uh, brown and yellow papers and do the butterfly bits in that. So that could be a fall, uh, like one of these, it could be a fall journal for us. That's why it's here. That's in my, uh, my thinking about doing a project when I get my uh, design team project done. So I moved my chair now and it's sneaking me to the floor. Bless this thing. Okay. This is my Timu stickery bits on some of them. It's from Hobby Lobby. It's just, I'm saying they had a big old batch of butterflies of different colors. And like I said, I've got, there's some purpley bits that would be pretty. And look in here is some uh, purpley bits. I got some big flowers in here. Yeah, I went on a flower vine spree. That's 
That's some of all different kinds in there. I didn't do any hauls on these because uh, they were coming like package at a time. It didn't make much sense to try to save them up. Yeah, so these are roses and that. So that's real pretty. With the little burnt sand things on them. So I think... I think I'm just going to use these bits right here right now. Man. I gotta set up above it so I can see what I'm doing, buddy. But yeah, Timu, Tamu, whatever you want to call it, has a beautiful, beautiful assortment of floral see through stickers. a little bit bigger than they're not quite as big as I thought they were. <sighs> okay. These are lavender batches. That would be pretty. I just want to put some, you know, like down the, kind of like down the side of the page or something. You know what I'm saying? This is separate. That's a different pack. That's that pack. <laughs> talking to myself. Instead of y'all talking amongst yourself, I'm talking to myself. So, Okay, now let's see if we can get these bits off of here. There we go. And you could go through and put these on the pages, you know, where we did not put uh, pockets and such on them. You can if you'd want to, but I'm just doing this as a little, I may just do it across the bottom here. I think that would be really pretty. I think that's some purple poppies. That a bit. Do a do a do. I think I'm going to use this bigger bunch right here. I just thought it would be pretty just in the middle. I did want, you know, bigger ones, but we got these and they are working just fine. I like them. And that's what we're going to use. I like that a lot. That is just plum stinking cute. Put 
this match here. Alrighty. Ooh, look, here's a real tall one. I'm going to try to run it up the page right here. No, actually, that would be good for a tag. There's a few of these single looking stems. Oops. I'll put down underneath. one that curved back here it is it curved back over like this way and it's this one here I'm going to use it so it goes kind of like this curves back over that way there we go yep I like it a lot well I thought I pulled that one up come here and I'll put a small, a few small ones over here on this side. Just a few. There we go. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now I bought all of these sticker bits here with the intent on making a bunch of uh, pockets with some Tim Holtz ephemera pieces and floral bits on them and tags. So, you know one of these journals is coming again. That's why I bought all of these stickers bits for because I love doing that with book page and um, music paper. Love doing that. That is like probably my favorite uh, journaling ephemera making idea is to take the uh, to take the clear acetate stickers, all oh, that's so pretty. I love that. Can y'all see it? I love that. That is just beautiful. So I would take my book page, put a piece of Tim Holtz ephemera down, or some uh, some type of label, put some floral sticker bits on it. Boom! Beautiful. Just beautiful. All right, so let's do a flip-flop through here. Okay. All right, so here's the front. I think that turned out pretty. And even these were bright white, so I just grunged them up. That's all I did. And you see how that looks like faux leather? That's so awesome. All right, so we did the belly bands here. Pocket tag. Blank, plenty of writing. And you can take, put floor bits in the corner of these if you'd like. And you can actually get, you know, your own book page and glue you another pocket in on them or a side tuck or a slanted pocket, whichever you would like to do. But these uh, scrapbook papers that I cut in half, six by six uh, scrap pads from uh, Hobby Lobble, Hobby Lobble. Hobby Lobby went perfect with this. Just love it. Didn't really have to do a whole bunch to them, you know, because it, it's already did that for you. Yep, love it. That's why I said these bits match that with the same floral bits and colors. Loved it. And then the, the sticker bits here from Timu, Tamu, whatever you want to call them. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I love how it came out. I just thought it was going to look a little plain Janie, but I like it with the bling on the pockets and stuff. I like that a lot. 
And the only real reason I didn't make pockets for every single page is because I didn't have enough cut aparts from Angela Kerr and I didn't want to pull from something else. Now these labels and stuff are like my stickers from the Tamu. Yep. And that was a leftover scrapbook and scrap. And look, on this, is a, it's a typewriter piece. And those words were uh, typed. So I was like, how cute is that? Grow positive thoughts. I was like, and that's going to go there. And then leaned up tag and belly band. So you have plenty of room to write in this journal. It's got plenty of space to grow. Love it. And so, like I said, my thinking was on this was to uh, just tie a little, just a little knot here, like so. And then it sets on my, whenever I write in it or something or give it to someone, I envision it just setting somewhere with a little lace hanging down like that on it. So, yeah. Okie dokie. And see, and you could tie it tighter. I just didn't. Just because if you tie it tighter, then the bow's longer than the book. <laughs> but yeah. I like that. That turned out stinking cute. Okie dokie. We're going to get off here and uh, get my video flipped around so y'all can see it. I'm going to rest a little bit. And then uh, I think, what is this? This is thursday's video so yeah friday night i'm gonna pull out my design team project uh papers and stuff and uh, we'll go through it and uh we'll start getting us some bits and stuff put together for my design team project and i'll do my design team project uh be next week's project for the journal and then I think the last week of the month, I'm going to go, uh, go ahead and get that, uh, get this other strawberry journal done. And then that'll be all of my bits off from up here. And then I can, uh, move right on along into, uh, fall and get those projects done. The only thing I'll have up here then is like my, uh, my backing stain tea stain, coffee dyed, and my tags and stuff that I did, and papers that I stamped stuff on around so it don't get all over my mat and that. Yeah, so I think that's all I need to do now. I got a few more papers here I got to clean up and get out, of my, get out of my pack. And some of them is like a there's so many uh, Facebook groups where you, like, you have uh, AI printables and stuff like that. And they'll be like, you know, this is uh, free to use. So if I find something like butterflies and stuff like that, then, you know, I'll, I'll save that. So I got a few of those papers I need to get done. And then just a few odds and ends but you know I, i've got butterfly journal bits that i want to get done too so i'm gonna put this up and i'm gonna get off here thank y'all so much y'all have a good night oh, hit the button